Hey, welcome back everyone. This is phase three, general engineering. This includes our project management, horizontal, vertical, G capstone, sapper stakes, out processing, and finally graduation. Once you graduate, you're an official 12 alpha, all certified and on to your next unit. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the first two weeks of classes, you will be focusing on project management and working with JCMS, MS Project, to design your work schedules, and that's probably my favorite part about it because it's applicable to what you'll be doing in your units. Why does this thing like be a really good pool? You got the scraper here. Once you finish project management, you'll be moving on to horizontal. So horizontal focuses on any project that goes side to side. So if you think about it, it can be digging dirt, pushing dirt, any construction that deals with that. These are some of the construction equipment as well as vehicles that are used in the process, which includes our very famous dozer. Each class will basically get a day or so to visit the motor pool it's a great way to familiarize yourself with the different vehicles that you'll be using within your units as well as what to expect during the PCMS process that your NCOs and other soldiers do. So you'll learn the techniques on how to spot mistakes during the maintenance of their vehicles. So in all three of your classes, project management, horizontal, and vertical, you'll deal with tons of calculation problems so just be comfortable on how to use the handouts as well as the step-by-step -step problems. So everything is given to you. All you need to really do is know how to plug and chug. During your critical exams, you usually are allowed to use a yellow sheet of paper that will be given. You can use the front and back to fill up anything you want. Uh, another thing is you can also use your doctrine. So any FMs, TMs, you can use that. Sometimes the instructors allow you to add on notes so you can put in anything you want in there too. Um, and that can give you more space. I just want to point out a couple quick things. We'll get a better view of this space up above in a minute space here in a private dining room back in here for uh, work. So the place that we visited during our vertical field trip is actually a hospital. This is going to be a newly constructed hospital that will be available right by the General Fort Leonard Wood Hospital on base. Pintry or rarely or primarily okay. German. Okay, what's that double knot with the next Here we have sapper stakes. It's not a critical event. So don't worry too much about it, but still do your best. Same as the math exam and the GE capstone, they're all taken out. Uh, not critical events anymore. The only ones that will determine whether or not you pass Ebolic is your vertical, horizontal, and project management. During sapper stakes, you will have a series of stations to go. It will test your physical abilities, as well as your ability to calculate project management, horizontal, and vertical problems. So it's basically a cumulative setup that tests your knowledge on everything that you learned, including demolition, as well as your physical capabilities. Just a separate girl. One, bop, 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 bop. You can also Two probably targets, get threat. your GAF PB badge as there's a German liaison on the Fort Leonard Wood base. Right, target, you have fire. to shoot, ruck, swim, Two, and you'll three. get your badge. This is what we gotta deal with before returning to Sith. We gotta clean our entire IOTV, scrubbing the heck out of it, and hopefully they accept it. Because if they don't accept it, then we can't graduate, which sucks. So once you complete everything after sapper stakes, you do a few environmental classes, and finally out process. So that means turning in all your SIF equipment. The best way to clean your items is through using Dawn soap. 
So add Dawn soap to everything, scrub the heck out of it, and it should be ready to go. All right, so this is the last day of us staying at the War Lodge. Um, and we have a cleaning lady who left us this note. So they said, thank you guys for always being so nice. You were my favorite guests and that she'll miss us seeing us around. I really appreciate her note. I left her a, a plushie uh, that I picked out. And so I think I'm definitely gonna miss my experience at the War Lodge. All right, we have finally made it to graduation. This is a proud moment for all of us. Graduation will be held right by the Engineer Museum. You'll get some time to explore the museum right after with your friends and family. You'll need to sing the Engineer song, and once everything ends, you'll get your diploma. Finally, we're packing up our bags to go back to the islands. Sayonara, Zaijin, Ohova, Fort Leonard Wood. Goodness gracious, this is way too much luggage. I brought four large luggages here. I'm bringing five home. I don't know what happened, but oh my goodness, if I didn't have this, Dude, I'd have to carry everything. 